Hey everyone, it's Chris Acton with Acting Creative, and this is a handwoven experience, episode four. In this episode, I am going to take you on a tour of my floor loom. I have a 36 inch four shaft shacked floor loom. And I've had it for 10 years, maybe. I love this thing. It's my favorite, hands down. So I thought while it was naked, there's nothing on there at the moment, I would show you around. The loom does some pretty cool things and you can see that the best when there isn't a project on it. So that's the plan for today. Here we go. So here we are at the very front of the loom and you know it's the front because that's where that big, this is called the beater bar, this big piece moves back and forth. This is what you always see uh, moving as someone's weaving. This is the piece that's always, always in action. So you've always got the beater bar in the front and then you can see these are my shafts here. I've got four different ones that will lift up depending on what I push on the treadles, the pedals, treadles is what they're called, down below. So in the front you can also see this beam here. This is uh, where all the fabric is wound on as the project kind of progresses through. And I wanted to note in my loom in particular, and most looms do this too, there's, this is called a front beam here. This whole piece actually will lift off. And I gotta be honest, I don't use this one as much, but there's a very cool setup in the back that I wanna show you next. And that's where it really comes in handy that the loom is pretty flexible. So here I am at the back of the loom. You can see everything is all tight. It's all close together. And this becomes very handy when I need to thread the heddles. These metal pieces are called heddles here. They have little eyes in them. And this is part of the process of setting up the pattern and dress, it's called dressing the loom when you set up the loom. So I'll bring my little stool here and I get nice and close and it's much more comfortable than leaning over um, another piece. But when all this is done, this whole piece expands, which looks like this. You move this out of the way, put that in the right spot on both sides. And then this is the back beam, which looks exactly like the front beam pretty much. And it just slides, slides right down there like that. So ultimately then I've got this little rod that will come around, I'll attach the yarn to this, and everything will slide through there to hold my project under tension. So that is how the loom moves and adjusts per your project. It's pretty handy, I gotta say. So that, my friends, is a tour of the loom. You'll see lots more of it in the future with a project on it, more than likely. If you enjoyed this, you got something out of it, please like, comment, or share. I would love to hear any feedback you have. And if you would like to get the inside scoop, be the first to know when new videos are coming out, go ahead and subscribe. It's easy to do. In the meantime, I hope you're having a great week and happy weaving.